Hey there, everyone. How you doing? Jeff C. here. It is Monday. No, it's just gone into Tuesday. It's 12.02 a.m. here on October the 7th. That's Tuesday morning, bright and early. Um, and uh, hey, me and Red Pill uh, kind of hit the big time here. Um, our videos <laughs> have been featured on a major website here. This is the International Business Times. And if you go to this website, of course, I will post the link below. And you put your cursor on science and health. The top article here is the truth behind Ebola zombies, victims rising from the dead, a viral hoax video. So just click on science and health here and there you go. There's the top article. And just in case people are wondering, this is the Indian version of uh, International Business Times, which I often use this website. I mean, they're always annoying me because they're... Their videos just start playing spontaneously, and then you've got umpteen windows open when you're trying to do these videos, right? Linking all these things together, and you can't figure out which one's played, so it's pretty annoying. But I've often gone to this website for a lot of information. It's a very big website, so um, yeah, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Yeah, okay, cool. So, truth behind the Ebola zombies, victims rising from the dead, a viral hoax. Uh, this is by Mangela Dilip. I'm sorry if I mangled your name. Mangela. Um, so, last week saw the Ebola zombie stories going viral. Let me make this bigger for me. Um, on the internet, along with gruesome picture, apparently, of a Liberian Ebola victim who had risen from the dead <laughs> with Mr. Dr. Richard Besser there, the former director of the CDC. The image, which appeared on Big American News, was captioned for the first time in human history. Confirmed footage of a man who scientists watched die from Ebola, then only several hours later regain life and rise from the dead. <laughs> As I always say, you can't make this shit up. So it goes uh, on to a site. Uh, it goes on to cite biblical passage, Isaiah uh, twenty six nineteen ten. Your dead shall live; their bodies shall rise. Um, it's imperative to note that Big American News is also home to stories such as confirmed Obama is injecting Christians with Ebola to destroy Jesus and start a new age of liberal... Dark. That's probably not all that off. And proof scientists confess uh, Hadron Collider is torture device for the God particle. Well, we think it might be a Stargate, right? Red pill? So anyways, uh, let's continue. Warning, a possible zombie apocalypse, the Liberian Daily Observer, the largest newspaper in Liberia, also ran an article titled Ebola AIDS, manufactured by Western Pharmaceuticals, U.S. Department of Defense, in which scientists allege that deadly diseases such as Ebola and AIDS are bioweapons. I think he's right. Tested on Africans, they claim that the Ebola outbreak is an attempt to reduce Africa's population. I wonder where they get those ideas from. Hmm. Liberian citizens have also expressed outrage and concern that the U.S. might have tested an evolved form of virus on their nation's populace, not foreseeing the virus spreading, reaching beyond medical containment. In an empathetic article, Dr. Cyril Broderick, a professor of the plant uh, pathology, beseeches African countries and their leaders to take the lead in defending Africans from being used as guinea pigs. Yes, hear, hear. Please stand up. Uh, please stand up to stop Ebola testing and the spread of this dastardly disease. Of course, I showed in one of my videos before about the doctor that was there that was claiming that that's exactly what they were doing. Um, this video posted by Free on Free Radio Revolution exposes the propaganda behind the visual media's coverage of Ebola zombies. So there's my video. Um, this one's gone viral. I'm not sure it's got like... 70 something, maybe 80,000 uh, hits by now, probably be over 100,000 by tomorrow. And uh, Red Pill also has another viral video, and he's had quite a few lately. Um, meanwhile, YouTube, uh, YouTube user Red Pill Revolution explains how Ebola zombie stories are being put out as a form of preconditioning and predictive programming uh, by the media. And if you haven't seen Red Pill's work on this, you absolutely must. I will post the links for his videos below. Of course, I'll just post the links for this article. That's okay, right? You can just go to this article and then you can click on, hey, 
Go on the article and leave a comment. Put a thumbs up. Uh, give it support. Let's get this thing viral if we can on India because you know what? India would be a, a, a place where uh, if this were to outbreak, um, you know, it would be just devastating. So it's important for Indians to know and to be involved in what's going on. So, however, he does warn that if you doubt for a second that a zombie virus scenario is not possible, if you think a mutated virus cannot occur and we cannot turn into a zombie-like state or a rabbit animal type state, you better wake up because we can, we absolutely can. And he showed, of course, in his awesome video about the uh, bath salts guy that uh, ate the homeless guy's face and shit like that. And how they've had several of these stories. There's one in China with a guy that was eating a woman on, on the train. And everybody just kind of stood back and was like, what the hell? I would fucking jump on the guy and bash his skull in. But uh, hey, that's me, right? Anyways, revolution, however. <laughs> I like this. Revolution, I think he's talking about me. However, blames the pills. No, he's talking about red pill. The pills used against Ebola and not against the virus itself for impending zombie apocalypse and explains how the usage of untested uh, Ebola vaccine, which currently is a modified rabies virus, will basically act as a rage virus and provide some damning proof. And he provides some damning proof to back his claims. He sure does. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, me and Red Pill uh, making the big time here on a major website. And I hope you all click on this article. And I hope you all share it. And uh, hey, good for India. Good for this, um, this person here, um, Mangela. Mangela. I hope I pronounced your name right. Thank you very much. And hey, leave a comment below and a thumbs up, right, for me and Red Pill. Thank you very much.